The aim of this trip is to travel through the Alps by paraglider in a Volbiv style, carrying everything we need to be self-sufficient. I'll share the journey with Tony for the first week and then I'll continue on on my own. I've never flown in the Alps before, nor done a Volbiv trip of more than one night. So this isn't about any big goals or flying huge distances, but it's more about exploring the mountains and just enjoying the adventure. Starting in the Southern Alps near Nice, we'll travel north towards Chamonix. And then from there, just keep going east through Switzerland and Italy, following the weather until it feels right to stop. We're in uh, France. We arrived yesterday. Yeah, day zero. Um, Tony flew into Nice uh, in the morning. From and Madrid. While he was waiting for me to arrive. Um, got you, the gas. Yeah, yeah, Tony went to go get the gas from Decathlon. And then uh, we got two really lovely hitches, didn't yeah, we? Yeah, we did. From Chateauneuf to Griolias. We met Marcus and Charlie who were so incredibly welcoming and generous. They let us in and they fed us for the night. We had an amazing did. barbecue. Yeah, and a bed. So uh, that brings us to this morning. Marcus then drove us up to Col de Blen, Yeah. Which is a really cool road, isn't it? Well, start here, isn't it? Day one. <laughs> after I landed it started raining and yep. not long after you landed it started raining yep. so yeah I think it was a good call yeah then ice creams in San Andre yeah and then a long walk up the hill and we are currently sat at the San Andre South Launch and set the tents up ready for tomorrow we've got chicken tikka masala and we're going to mix that in with some instant cheese and onion mash it's a classic combo this is a tent and there's also a poncho and it used to be a paraglider. So you've uh, ticked all the boxes, recycled. you've recycled, and you've got a fab little homemade and I'm just tent. It. Well, we've woken up on day two, we've decamped. Uh, I've broken my tent already, um, and Tony has uh, done an amazing repair job. He's now um, making us some bread for the day. But uh, our situation right now is that we're pretty low on water. We've got that much until we can find the next water source. So it's going to be crucial to, uh, to land near some water, I think.
cloud base. Now we're heading on to the Dormaloose Reef. Tony is just um, somewhere. Somewhere over there. I quite want to. Tony have landed. We've uh, landed at Orsiers, which is a kind of a ski resort um, on the edge of the Ekrans National Park. Uh, it's flew about 80 kilometers today, which I think we're both happy with. We were hoping to fly a little bit further, but um, the cumulonimbus clouds out in the plains have created a huge kind of area of shade. Uh, we found a nice supply of water as well. Campsite number two, I've set up my tent. Just settling into bed now, there's a bit of a thunderstorm. Whoa. This is some heavy rain, really heavy rain. Good morning. We're on uh, the, our third flying day. It's uh, Tuesday. We're both a bit bleary eyed today because uh, thunderstorm <laughs> we was doing a good strobe and percussion uh, dance set last night. Um, it kind of kept me up. Tony got a bit soggy. So it turns out his genius tent is only good if it doesn't quite rain. <laughs> Maybe a bit of drizzle will be all right, but. Yeah, not that kind of rain. That was really splashy rain. So all our stuff's drying out this morning. Oh my, my trouble, my never rest and never stay. I found the not you know I would ever compromise our love. Even though I sound selfish. The best seas of my life have been lived out of my
some could say we've cheated, but um, I like to think we haven't. We've, we've taken the smart option for getting the second flight of the day. Hopefully it'll be more successful this time. Thumb likes this place. Right, this is definitely cheating now. The mm -hmm. um, the monument we landed at, the uh, what is it called again? Sanctuary de la Salette. Yeah, which is a um, sanctuary, which is a very nice place, a really nice church, and we've got a refuge. Me and Tony have just had the worst hot shower you could have. It was only had scalding as an option, scalding or nothing. <laughs> um, but yeah, we now feel clean. Our clothes are clean. We are clean. And we've avoided a really bad storm. Round and round and round. Um, we've 
fly for two hours. We've made it four kilometers. Still freezing. Okay, we've landed, we've had a great day. We flew a really long way. You've got a pen on your head. Um, Get the camera on your head. Yes, all the way. God, that would have been such a good shot. And we found the most perfect camping spot. We got water, we got launch from east and west and north, which faces the wind direction for tomorrow. We've got some big some mountains. It's literally perfect in every way. And the reason I sound panicked is because we're literally being eaten alive with mosquitoes. Thousands. I've just killed hundreds. That's just a good stove on. Oh, this is awful. Hmm. Oh. <laughs> in order to escape the mosquitoes, I'm now in a sweat box. <sighs> Morning now, and we're having pancakes. This is gourmet camping at its best. Oh, some perfect pancake with a view. Yeah. 
centimeters here, 10 centimeters there. Finally, finally got out. And it feels so good. Journey. So we've made it to Chamonix. Um, it was a bit gutting yesterday. The uh, SD card ran out of memory, so I lost, or well, I couldn't film most of the flight. But we got pretty close to Chamonix. What happened in your flight yesterday at the end? Um, at the end. Out of the sky. Oh yeah, I got rained on quite heavily. Um, that was kind of part of the reason why I didn't quite make it to Chamonix. We had a real struggle at the start. We made a couple of bad decisions that put us low in the valley wind. Linear. But I think Jeez. our patience played out yeah, really yeah. well. Uh, our survival flying is on top form now. We didn't actually spend much time going anywhere, but we still made it, what, 80k? So yeah, we're making really good progress. Today looks like another flyable day. We're going to get the ski lift up to the Brabant and launch from Plan Press and hopefully get into Switzerland. Ooh. Just there.
Yeah, I've just landed. We'll see. landed uh, next to Andermatt. We've just flown from Chamonix, which is both mine and Tony's longest flight. So um, we're both dead pleased with that. I'm knackered. I've been cold because all I wore was shorts and a down jacket, uh, which wasn't enough when you're at 4,000 meters. <laughs> yes, this is your chance to actually catch a fish. Into the mountain. So, this is our last day together. It Tony's is. gonna travel back um, somehow. <laughs> somehow to get to a competition in France, and I'm gonna carry on on my own, very sadly. Awesome. Which is best just, day ever. It was one of the best flying days I've had. Amazing views. Passe Liger over the glaciers. Views of the Matterhorn and Mont Blanc. Oh, it's just all these iconic mountains. Um, the conditions are not so good today and the forecast is for rain and storms tonight and tomorrow. Um, it's unlikely we're going to get big XC in today. Uh, we'll have a go. Well, I'll have a go. <coughs> Tony needs to get back to the train station at the bottom of the hill. So we're just looking for launches right now. There's fences everywhere and really sharp spiky things. Time to say goodbye, Tony. Yes, mate. Oof. Time for change now. Uh, ready for phase two of the trip. Tony's just uh, flown down to the station in Andermatt. The weather has changed. I can smell rain on the air. Yeah, it's gonna be interesting to see how this next part of the trip pans out. I feel a bit sad. Uh, instant sense of loneliness. Not loneliness uh, perhaps, but aloneness. And it uh, should be interesting. I'm kind of looking forward to it. Yeah, I've got to work out next whether I'm going to Milan, Zurich, or Venice. Yeah. It's just started to spit. You can see the rain chasing me. Oh. All good things come to an end. Okay, so I can officially say it stopped raining. It's nice and sunny now. Um, I've been sat in a cafe for the last two hours. 
having hot chocolate and trying to work out what I'm going to do the next couple of days. The forecast appears to me that um, the North Alps are going to be pretty crap for the next three days. I don't want to have to sit in the rain. So I'm going to push quite hard now and try and get up over through a high mountain pass. Uh, it's at about 2,600 meters. My aim is if I can get there before nightfall is to glide down into the Ticino Valley. Don't know if I will or not. Fuck! Ah, oh, God! Bug! I landed for the GoPro snapped. I fell off my rucksack about three kilometers back. I dropped my bag and ran back to go get it. Very quickly, running out of time. Okay, I'm making progress again. I'm on a really tiring path because I keep sinking into it, probably because of this massive bag. But it's getting late. I don't know if I'm going to launch. It's going to be catabatic, which means it might be a night up here. It's just going to be cold. It's quite cold now. Oh god, I'm regretting this now. Didn't know that far, but it was. sick I'm that tired I have just landed here um, I'm too tired to think about anything I'm just gonna put my tent over there oh, I haven't felt this terrible for a long time I've rinsed myself so today I had a rest day, which I think I needed after seven days of flying and the big hike. Um, it was kind of taking its toll. Uh, Fabrizio cooked me some risotto that he was making his family. And he gave me a glass of red wine and I got to charge my things, uh, do my little picture di diary, um, and just relax really. I've got a fair distance to go and quite three big chains of mountains to get over in order to get there could be a real challenge but i'm going to give it a go And then oh it makes me so miserable 
Fuck. I needed that flight today. Needed to get away from the bad weather. <sighs> yeah, I just don't know what to do now. There's no obvious way to get back to the top. And it's an enormous, an enormous walk. <sighs> Morale is low. Just had a look at the maps. Um, just found that there's a flying site about 10 kilometers down the road. Uh, and there's a ski lift up to it. Hopefully it's operating. Ski lift's not working. I don't know what to do now. Maybe I'll give it one more go. Walk to the top. God, it's steep. I mean, it's way, way up there. Two hours and 50 minutes. My foot's hurting now. Uh, There's the ski lift I could have taken if it hadn't broken yesterday. And look what's just started moving again. There's not a breath of wind, no thermals. The sky is just overcast now. How many days does that make? Three, three days of not really getting anywhere. I mean, I have to get over that set of peaks on the horizon to here, so. I guess that is progress. I can't complain too much. Well, I sat in Dagro, which is the town where the traditional launch is. I could see no obvious places to go or, or anything. I just felt like if I launched there, I would have been back on the valley floor, having wasted even more of the day and more of my energy. Um, so I've kind of given up with today now. Um, I'm going to use it to walk to the summit, which I would never have decided to do this morning, but I just keep plodding and I just keep going. After a bit of searching on Google, it looks like there might be a little boffy at the summit. Yes. Oh, this is perfect. And beds and blankets. Toilet and shower. Ho ho. Okay, today was worth it. After all, I'm in a really cool place. I'm really happy now. This is sweet. All right, this is going to be a fairly um, adventurous launch. There's a lot of trees <laughs> in front. If I don't get the glide angle I need on launch, then uh, I might end up in one. I can't find a launch that would get me into the wind, so I'm going to take off in the lee. Wish me luck. Nice rib, nice bowl with some rocks 
soon it's been in the sun then once I get to the top I'm going to try and surf along the side and get through that coal over there once I'm over there I'm in Italy Myself in, I saw a good big landing field, and thought I'd take it. Uh, so I've hitched um, about 15 kilometers up the valley. Anyway, I'm walking up to the nearest site. It's uh, it's going to be a fair walk, so uh, it's not like I'm totally slacking. Okay, so I'll give it one last push. Quite keen to get to uh, Bolzano um, for no other reason than. It's quite convenient for getting to Venice from there. Well, I've got over a chain of mountains that sort of divides whether I go to Milan or whether I go to Venice. And the flights from Venice are much cheaper. Turns out I have a bad stomach now. Presumably from some of the water I've drunk. I managed to get about six meters from uh, realizing I had a bad stomach to uh, making a great big mess, to put it delicately. Just woken up. Uh, I made it up here last night at about 9.30. You can see where I launched from last, or where I hitched you last night. It's got Africa. I remembered this time. And I walked down the road, 
and then what felt like an eternity of switchbacks to get up to here. Well, it's now 10 o'clock. I'm sat on launch. It's not a terrible place to be. Um, I've got this kind of dream of flying to Borzano today, which is over 100 kilometers. Looking at the maps and looking at the train I've got to get through, it's gonna be awkward, to say the least. Oh, it'd be so good if I could get there today.
So after landing yesterday, um, I was in a bit of a stupor and uh, yeah, really exhausted after the flying. It was over eight hours and flying into the mountains last night was just a dream. Just soaring up these huge limestone faces um, and the view is just perfect. So after I landed, I looked at the weather. It didn't look that great for the next couple of days. Today has been okay, but there's been a lot of high cloud cover, so it would have made travelling any distance quite tricky. Um, so I've decided to call it there. This trip's been epic. Like it's just been brilliant. Uh, I kind of got a bit of everything I wanted. I had the highs and the lows, and got more flying than walking, um, which I think makes a big difference in these sort of things. Uh, I had lots of yeah, lots of lovely people, and kind and generous. Um, had mostly good weather. Didn't suffer too much. Suffered just just enough to get taste, but not too much that it became a misery. So yeah, an amazing trip. I'm going to um, chill today, walk to Kadena, um, catch a bus tomorrow morning quite early, get on the flight home, and it gives me a couple of days to unpack and spend time at home, which I'm quite looking forward to.